So our work has two important implications. The first, which is important to researchers, which is that siRNAs don't actually behave in this very selective and specific way, which was their promise. And two, this class of drugs has a very potential, potentially a very dangerous adverse effect, which is to block blood vessel growth throughout the body. I think it's always very easy to get carried away with the excitement and promise of new technologies. And often something that's obvious and in front of our eyes is either missed or ignored. And in our laboratory, we pay great reverence to understanding the detailed mechanism of action of molecules and drugs. And instead of discarding findings that don't necessarily match our expectations, we actually take pride in understanding paradoxical and surprising uh, findings. And I think that's why we were able to completely unravel and decipher what was an initially very puzzling observation. I want to make it absolutely clear that, that the reasons for awarding the Nobel Prize for this discovery are extremely valid because in fact this mechanism of RNA interference does exist. What we showed is our attempts to exploit this naturally occurring pathway using this class of molecules called siRNA doesn't actually function in the way that we thought it does. So it's sort of a parallel and additional observation to the initial findings that led to this Nobel Prize winning discovery. And what we showed is that these molecules can not only work in this phenomenal way that was discovered a decade ago, but they have a very different mechanism of action within the body as well, and one which actually predominates over this Nobel Prize winning mechanism in the human body or in vivo. What we're working on now is how to selectively utilize these properties of blood vessel growth suppression in diseases where that's desirable and developing ways to offset the suppressive effects of these drugs in disease states where this effect is undesirable. So we're trying to get a, trying to find a more refined way to use this class of molecules in different disease states. I'm very blessed to have a group of individuals in my lab who are tremendously motivated and highly industrious and whose diligence along with their own uh, inspired abilities made this finding possible.